Hello SGD, uh, let's just do a look at the golden ratio and uh, well, something that I can't explain but uh, maybe someone else has got a good explanation for it. So I'll be using the Fibonacci and the Lucas numbers to look at it but uh, if we go to now the easiest way to find phi is square root of 5, 2.36 etc plus 1 divided by 2. So we have 1.618033 etc. Now what's beautiful about, so I'm going to put that memory plus, and but if we phi plus 1, 2.618 of course, but now let's clear memory recall. Now if we square phi, we get 2.618033. So phi squared equals phi plus 1. Now if we take, so I'll clear memory recall, phi minus 1, no surprise, 0 0.618033, okay, um, but if we clear memory recall, okay, 3, clear 1 divided by phi equals phi minus 1. Now, if we clear again, so memory recall, so phi squared or equals 2.6180, Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Clear. Now I'm going to do 1 divided by phi squared. So 1 divided by phi is phi minus 1. 1 divided by phi squared is 1 minus 1 over phi. But uh, edit, paste. So 1 divided by 2.618 or phi squared equals 0 0.381966. Now that will come in later so let's first all right i want to show the order of them so we get an idea of a number so i'm going to type in one underneath that i'm going to type in equals so we make an equation that equals the number above plus one okay so easy way just to you know do one two three four five six etc so now we can use those lines and i'll do the fibonacci so we begin with one and one and then underneath that hit the equal sign and then click that cell plus the one above so now we now we can click on that little black box dra and drag it down and we have the Fibonacci numbers we'll do the same with the Lucas which begins one and three and then we go underneath that and hit equals click the cell above plus the cell above that so now we have the Lucas numbers uh, I'll put a link in the description where I did a just recently did a comp but, uh, compilation, so be rehab. But one of the things that is curious is, so if we hit the equals to create an equation, and I'm going to divide the Lucas number, divide by the same rank uh, row of Fibonacci numbers. Okay, if we drag that down, that will get just keep getting closer and closer to 2.3606 which is square root of 5 so that's a cool thing that links to Fibonacci's and the Lucas numbers but when it comes to my mouse batteries are gone Bear with me a moment. We're back. Yep, okay, so now, but we go back, so the ratio between the Fibonacci and Lucas gives us a square root of 5. And as I showed earlier again, the golden ratio, so I'm going to divide one Lucas number by the previous. And we begin 3 divided by 1 begins with 3, of course. But the further and further we get down, the closer and closer it gets to 5, 0 0.618033. Uh, now again, that's the same thing with the Fibonacci. Fibonacci numbers, I'm going to divide that one 
by the one previous drag that down and we get closer and closer to five now if I extend that way down just extend the Fibonacci numbers way down to 160 second and the Lucas numbers so now we're getting into notation there, so but it's still we have a Fibonacci numbers, but you see the notation. However, that ratio that joins them, if we string that down, it just keeps it stays at 2.23606 or the square root of 5. Go back up, we drag those down. And again that stays at that same. 0.618 ratio doesn't change and again if we drag that down it doesn't change so the Excel is able to handle it now let's try something else and so in this column next to it I'm going to go back to my calculator okay now if I'll keep that open that's 0 0.381966 that's 1 divided by the square root of 5 and we had the square root of 5 between now let's just get phi again square root of 5 plus 1 divided by 2 okay so now we have phi I'm going to copy that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to find the difference so these numbers keep getting closer and closer to phi so what I'm going to do is take that number sorry click equals I take that number and I'm gonna minus copy paste phi okay so now we see that's the difference and if I drag that down it's a little bit chaos now let's do it the same on the other side So that cell equals divided, sorry, minus phi and we'll even, well, first 3.81966, 1.38966, now even here is, well, that's negative, 0 0.6182, well, that's just the nature of things because we're started with phi and minus but okay that number three zero point three one nine six six that's the same one we saw before that's one over phi plus one or one over phi squared but then that doesn't you know it's not follow it's not falling into a set uh, the same over and over however More room okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the ratio between these numbers so I'll start there equals the difference divided by the difference above interesting that it comes to again zero point now that's just one of the beauties in five because we have here we have one over phi squared and there we have one minus phi or 1 over 5 but this sort of chaos here now you'll note it comes and starts to form and falls into 0 0.31896 okay that's 0 0.3196 0 sorry 0 0.3896 0 0.38196 if I do the same with the difference on the Lu on the Lucas numbers equals divided by the one above it now starts falling you know coming to that three point eight one nine six now that in this column we have the square root of 5 which is the ratio between 
Fibonacci's and Lucas numbers. That stays the same. We divide Fibonacci numbers by the previous one. We get phi getting stays the same, getting closer and closer. The same we saw with the Lucas numbers. But if I drag this down, okay, so now that ratio where we got this forget the negative, but we have three point eight one nine six six and sitting there. Well, it's for some reason, and it could be a glitch in Excel, but that pattern just suddenly falls away around about the 30, 33rd to 38th, and of course that uh, that's the same thing that happens on the Fibonacci side of things. So there's this sort of hovers around a bit below one, a bit above one, and hits one bit below, a bit above. And that to me is something I don't understand. One, 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 and then zero point nine four five four five four five. Same thing over here. See along this column. Along that column, and they're mimicking, but they're sort of one offset by one. And that for the number people, so we have that one, 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 then nine point five four five four five, one point oh four seven. I don't know why, but it's uh, it's one of the. It, I'd I would have thought I'd assume because the one point six one eight carries on. And it carries on there in for infinity, I suppose, and then the square root of five between the Lucas and Fibonacci numbers. We take the ratio of the differences, we see it settles into although negative three point eight one nine, which is one over five squared, and it sets there, and then it just hits a point and it just loses it and goes off into something that doesn't make sense to me um, and even the for instance the difference between that beneath one nine point sorry zero point nine five four five four five is not that it's then we have one point zero so that even that up below and above one's not the same but that same ratios keep popping up. There's one, four, five, two, one, four, one, one, six, then there's three, then there's two. And I didn't just analyze, uh, I haven't analyzed it, looked at it, I just was looking at uh, this thing and then thought I'd explore that. And uh, maybe there's a pattern um, in there. 1.618033 carries down, square root of 5 keeps going, and also on the Fibonacci, the phi keeps going, but that ratio, which is phi based between the differences, that just suddenly, ah, nah, I'm not doing it, and that one as well. And uh, interesting, I think, or a mystery. The mysterious nature of the golden ratio, and that's uh, that's all. If you if someone's got an answer, do let me know. I I that doesn't make sense to me, but there probably is a good answer, but uh, I don't have it.